Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Ruxan, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 13 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. called, I'm not going to try, I'm going to try to say his name, but it's like Principia, I want to say. So it starts off with a therapist talks to the Andrew, the Strucker, Striker kid. Um, yeah, I probably should have looked up the actual name, but anyway. So they talk about um, his um, how his brain's kind of kind of loopy and stuff. They want us to date the shit out of him, literally just the date un until he can't recognize anything. But he remembers everything and knows his kid and the address and all this other stuff. And literally stabs him with a pen. And then people take him out. And then we cut to where Simon uh, treats Yo-Yo, and Mac is overcompensating by trying to, he's being kind of needy, well, not really needy, but he's acting like she is needy, but he's just overcompensating, trying to help her out as much as he can. He's like too in her face. And then, um, then we cut to where Fitz is going to try to work on the prosthetics, and then Fitz needs uh, Gravitonium to better fix the rift in the lower deck so that won't happen. Then we cut to uh, Daisy goes over the people for um, the cyber link company, the people that worked on Deathlock and that whole program so she's trying to find people but they all are dead basically. And then uh, we cut to where they're going to try to find someone. Um, that they found that signed all the death certificates, and then we cut to where Deke is helping Fitz. Then we have the um, striker. Then we have the kid in the room, and the door is open, so he leaves and eats. Then Ruby comes in, and ignores at on um, him. She just has her little earbuds in, gets her food, and leaves. Then we cut to where Daisy and Colson confront the guy. Turns out Mac knows him and calls him Candyman. <laughs> Because apparently he could get anything in the academy, but he, um, he didn't go to classes or really do anything. So he's no longer, in, so he kind of got kicked out. <laughs> and then we have Deke assesses with um, baseball and this other stuff. Like He's just very fascinated about Earth's culture before his time, before the world blew up. So, uh, but Fitz kind of dismisses him, and then we cut to where Yo-Yo is upset, and then breaks down, and then the Candyman and the and that talk, and they show his their old pictures, which were hysterical. And Mac was called Mac Hammer because he was obsessed with MC Hammer in the Academy. And then we cut to um where he says basically the Deathlock lead is a bust because they're trying to work on prosthetics and they were in the high-tech range of that, but since they're all kind of dead, it's kind of um, a little bust. Then we cut to where Maisie, uh, Maisie, Daisy and May are determined to save Coulson because it's like you just need to let it go. Then we cut to Ruby training and then talks to the kid Striker kid, striker kid, and he remembers her and how, like, um, her mom and her used to visit his dad a lot. And he, she got a cut on the, on her forehead because he um, wasn't looking after her or babysitting her. And you know, she got smacked on the table or something, and he got beat up for that. So he holds her, holds her hostage. Then the kinderman wants, uh, a guy's help to help find the gravitonium and basically said they put it on a cargo ship and it just disappeared. And he's saying it sank. And then we cut to where Deke is asking too many questions about the ocean and all sorts of stuff. And so this just snaps as Adam basically tells him to shut it. And then Deke snaps back and leaves. And then we, um, Cut to where um, Simmons kind of calms Fitz down. There's a beautiful sci-fi moment, Fitz Simmons moment. Then we cut to where General Hale comes in and talks to uh, the first striker kid about what's happening and what she wants from him. And that's basically information. And 
he says to go to hell, and then he then she says, like, okay, you can leave. Okay, uh huh. Then she uh, then Hale tells Ruby to get to him and try to make him stay. Then we cut to where Deke eats a Twinkie, and then he sees his mom and tells him that, oh, you like Daisy, ooh, you know, kind of like, and he's kind of like, mom, mom. Then she tells him to walk away, and then a Cree kills the mom, and she disappears, and then he kills the Cree, and he disappears, and then uh, Simmons talks to him, and calms him down, and then um, basically talking about space and stuff, and then D figured out about the ship, and says that the ship could be in space because if a lightning struck it during a storm, it could float up, and basically that's what happened. And so they found the ship in the sky, and it's just like the most crazy thing ever. And then the Strucker kid had a dream, a really nasty dream. So Ruby talks to him and tells him the truth and tells him that my mom told me to get to, uh, to, get to you, to get information and do all this stuff, but I want to overthrow her and create a new team. And don't you want to bury your memories with happier memories? And so he's, she said, if you're not here in the morning, I know you left. And if, if you stay, that means you're in. Yeah. So uh, then you have Colson's team on the ship, and then uh, some of those robot people are still are on that ship, and I thought they were crewmen, but they're not. But anyway, so they're on the ship, and then the gravitonium is gone, set for a softball size. And then Deke uh, suggests an idea, basically put the put it in a plastic container and then you have like a minute before a minute and a half before the gravitonium uh, stops and the ship drops into the ocean. So they do it and they run into the robot guys and then Max stays and literally rips them up with his battle axe or shotgun axe and they get back on the uh, ship uh, on the well, I guess I'm a flying bus. Anyway, you know, the mace, mace bus. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? And so, anyway, um, so anyway, the ship drops, and then we have Hale knows about S.H.I.E.L.D. getting the Gravitonium, and then the Candyman is leaving, but says he'll do more research on the Deathlock program, see if he can get some more research. And then uh, Deke overheard Simmons say a phrase that his mother used to say. And so he makes the connection that that is his grandmother and that this is his grandfather. Because um, <laughs> when the teen gets, first he gets like kind of flabbergasted when he talks to um, Simmons when he overheard that phrase that she said. And then when the teen comes back, Coulson tells, um, gives, gives this the gravitonium and tells Deke, like, come on or what? And he says under his breath, like, I'm coming, Grandpa. <laughs> and then, uh, then we cut to where Mac got beer for Yo-Yo and robot arms from the people. <laughs> and then the Strucker kid is in and then Creole is also at the facility training and then um, Hill talks to Ruby. He's like, how'd you get him to stay? And she said, I told him the truth. And that was the episode. I will give this an A+. Plus. I kind of like how Deke is actually a pretty smart person. But he's just so kind of dumb with Earth-related stuff just because he doesn't know about it. He doesn't know about baseball. He doesn't know about the ocean. doesn't know about these certain things. But he still has a, a, a good mind. So that, I just find that kind of ironic. But anyway, I really, really liked this episode. I thought it was really good. Like I said, it's A+. Plus. And I'm very excited to see how the season's going to end. And everything else is going to happen. And I keep saying this, but I've uh, already watched the rest of this, um, this seasons. Can't talk all right. I'll have it up when I have it up. I'm not going to do any dates or anything. Like, I'm not going to be one of those people that it's going to be up Friday, and then if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to deal with that. So anyway, it'll be up when it'll be up. 
And I just wanted to finish this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? And if you also have suggestions, let me know down below whether it's a TV show, movies, or music. I'll check it out. Anyway, uh, just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.